事，转眼又是十九年了。Time, the years are flying. With a blink of an eye, there is. It is already nineteen years. 十九年，三十八年，亦或是昆仑妖界之争，在多少次的往复轮回，又有分别。世间除了喧嚣，还有什么是与你我相关的 ？I know, right? Nineteen, nineteen years, thirty-eight years. And once again. <laughs> Once again, the the conflict between Quinlan and the Monster Realm will are like just how many more times? How many how many times will the the conflict between will the cycle of the conflict between Quinlan and the Monster Realm continue? Or yeah, basically, yeah, how many more times? Or no, no, wait, let me rephrase this. Nineteen years, thirty-eight years. Once again, <clears throat> once again, the cycle of the quin of the conflict between Quinlan and are how many times was the conflict between? Oh, okay. Let me go ahead and just de decipher this,、uh, like just split this up. So basically, he's saying like, what's the difference anyway? Nineteen years, thirty-eight years, the cycle. Of the conflict between Quinlan and the Monster Realm continues. So there you go. I should have just said that in the first place. So he, I should have. So anyway, nineteen years, thirty-eight years. What's the difference? The con, the cycle of the conflict between Quinlan and the Monster Realm. Repeat it. Will repeat. How many? Will how many more times will that cycle repeat? Let's see. In this world, outside of Xuan Xiao. What does? Is there anything that has to do with us? You say the right. He, if he can escape and get out, you and I can find some solace and peace. Wow. They really are retired. <laughs> anyway, Qin Yang says, "You, what you said is right. If he is able to break out of the ice and leave, then." You and I will truly have no. Can <laughs> will truly have no regrets, and we can leave this world in peace. I see. So. Oh, okay. Well, you find. Oh, you caught up to me. But yeah. It doesn't matter. It seems like what difference does it make whether <laughs> put down our guilt? Uh oh, I see. No, not put down our guilt. That doesn't sound right in English, but it's basically ah,、uh, we'll be able to maybe set aside. Set aside is what I would do, or like it's basically having no reg like you're putting away your no. There's nothing left. Okay, I guess that involve in. I guess it describes debts rather than regret. It's kind of both. Well, anyway, so anyway, yeah, that sentence is hard to like. I hate run-on sentences in English. They're a lot harder to deal with. In Chinese, we have run-on sentences all the time, and it actually is comprehensible, but it's just hard to phrase it in English. Let's see. Okay, but I think set aside our guilt. <sighs> it's. It implies that you're making up for your guilt, though, or like I guess I don't know. It's this one. I think set aside guilt is fine. I think set aside guilt is probably the best way to do it because, like, it really is. They're making up for something bad that happened. Is actually what he really means. But anyway, now so that means they can leave this world peacefully. So just in case you were not. I never know what to end my sentences. Um, yeah, in English it's a lot easy. It's Kind of necessary with how the way the way the way the sentences are structured.、Hmm. Well, anyway, once they help, basically they're like, we're done. That the Shining Elder, is not already old? Hair is white, skin is pale, but he looks young. I know. 
Lisa says, "That elder Chongguang, do you think he's already become? Uh, he's already cultivated to have the body of an immortal. His hair and his eyebrows, even though they were white, but his face was looked extreme, looked so youthful." It is just, <laughs> it is just because of this, of his technique that he's pra- <laughs> that he's cultivated. I know. Why did they go say not say nothing about her weariness? That is a little strange, isn't it? The two elders, <laughs> the life, the life expectancy of the two elders, what is probably going. Is probably going to be longer than an ordinary person's by twenty years or thirty years, but it is not necessarily that they will that they will never age. Or basically, like, yeah, basically that's what he said. Hmm. I know, right? Oh, I, I thank you. Ah. Oh. How boring! I went through all of <coughs> all of the records, all the records, right? All the ancient books and records in the in the book in the in the stack room. Is that like the book room? It's like the the records room. But yet, I've never seen a single person <coughs> person in the Chonghua Guild who's managed to cultivate a body of immo an immortal body. Why do you want to live forever so badly? <laughs> The records room, ancient books and records. Oh, oh, oh! It's nothing. I, I'm saying that. When are we going to go, <laughs> go take action to find those three items? Of course, we're going to go now. Then, which items should we look for first? Since they are all, <coughs> since it will not be need, none of them are will be a simple task. It is no difference which one we choose. Why don't we start with the <coughs> with the Guangji Tan Tu? Ah, that's like the. Oh, what was that called? Oh, side quits first. Oh, fine. Why don't we start with the the light? Oh, it's like the light map, light cold map. Oh, cold picture. I I don't like. I'll just call it the. What did we translate it as again? Because that name was very long. I don't remember anymore. Wow, I don't remember anything. Who are you again? Okay, no. Why don't we Why don't we start by searching for the Why don't we begin searching with the Guangji Han Tu, cold light era drawing? Okay, thank you. That does That still doesn't sound good in English, but there's no way. Ooh, let's see. All right, let's go to Chimo. I can lead the way. I know. I know that that place. It's in the northeast, by the by the seaside. Yeah, we're done. Woo! All right, so we're gonna do side quest first before we begin. Ooh, we don't have a lot of time though. Maybe we can just start a side quest. I don't know. Is it gonna be a long, drawn out thing? Oh, I found some stuff. Yay, the texture work. Very, um... Very not so great, but hey, it's all good. There is one side quest in the Shouyang Inn. Okay, cool. So we, but we need to go back into the... Oh, we need to get this. Open the chest. Oh, we have the lightning fire pearl. Or orb, I guess, is what we should call it. 
And some stuff. Alright, we've... And yes, I apologize everybody, it's really hard to rearrange some of these. Words, curse you all speaking so... Flowerly. With such flowery language. Everyone should just talk like Tin No, no, I'm just joking. Please don't talk like Tin That's too simple. Too simple, too clear cut. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to walk back, huh? Maybe we'll just... Oh no, we don't have to, it's blue. Yay! We can just go... Okay, so... We can obviously go back to the shade of the drunken flower, but I don't want to do that. Let's fly on the sword. Um, okay, so we need to go to Shouyang. So I might as well head there. Uh, that is Boshin to Boshin Village. Nope. That is the village Yuya. Well, we could go to Boshin to just buy more food. We used a bit. Oh, wow, we can go to Chenzhou again. And Shouyang. So obviously this is our destination, Jimo, which we have not been to yet. Uh, but first, I'll go to Boshin to... Really quick. Oh my goodness, you fly at the speed of slow. I'm just gonna buy some food, most of all. And no, Tianhe, you don't get your dream of going to find those items. So soon. So it looks like we gotta do a giant fetch quest. For the main quest. We're gonna try to get Sh bust Shunxiao out of his icy prison. I just wonder where this is all going to. What are we gonna lead up to? I, it is kind of lame that we have to do a three side quest, but hopefully some interesting stuff happens. We still don't know exactly what's going on with um, with Ling Sha. I'm really not sure why she was having headaches and or not headaches, uh, getting dizzy all the time. Very strange. Let's go buy some food, which is right here. Oh yeah. It's true, we can also go to Pre Chenzo and buy some food there too. Like I think... We can buy some of those rice noodles. Oh yeah. Well, I still got plenty of food, so I'm not too worried about it. So after the Shouyang side quest. Okay. Will do. <laughs> Alright, we're not gonna go to the Taiyi Immortal Path. Let's just fly over. That is Bakong San. Nope. Not the tomb again. Oh, that's the Chao Lake again. One of the early ones. Taiping. Oh, the village of peace. Taiping. Hey, we can actually go to Ching Wan Peak again. Blue Luan Peak. Okay, but no, we're gonna go to Shouyang City. Wait till wait till Tianhe gets over there. Someday. No, 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 I'm just kidding. But look at how slow this flying is, man. I thought you were supposed to go in one second, man. Right, Shouyang City, where Meng Li is from. Or wait, no, was she from Chenzhou? Why am I... Why did I say that? No, that's not right. Oh, righty. Alright, let's look for the side quest. Wait, she is from Shouyang, right? Yeah, yeah. 
I, why am I freaking myself out? Oh no. Yes. Can I go there? Oh. But yes, this is where Meng Li's, Meng Li's hometown is. Anyway, uh, Zhang Mengjian, the doorman, says, Oh, <laughs> Master Liu isn't in the is it in the matter right now? Mr. Yun, if you'd like to go vi- <laughs> If you'd like to visit him, you should come back again another time. Oh, We can't meet Liu Bo Bo. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, but let's go find a side quest then. Is it a Meng Li side quest? Since it's in her hometown? Dunno. I haven't been here in a while though. What am I looking for anyway? Is it in the temple? I don't think so. I can buy food. Oh, you have a a side quest, a quest here. <laughs> Oh, really? Even though I have seen... Eh. Even though I know about many foods, I haven't been e eaten anything but... <laughs> I haven't eaten any... Any food that's out from outside of Shouyang. Young man, if you could help me, can you find... Eh. Can you bring me some... Some, uh, let's see. Some drunken dates, the fried noodles. Some milk, fried noodles, milk tea, hand grabbed rice. Uh, so it's like, oh, I don't know about those ones. Like wine and, <coughs> and the eight tre and eight treasures rice. Okay, so it's just like some kind of like, Hong Lu Ba Bao Fan. I don't even know what that is. It's just some kind of dish. If you could bring me those, I'll be very grateful for, to you. Would you be willing to help me buy it? Why, yes I can. I don't think I have all of it though. No, I don't. I'm gonna just buy some foods. Try to buy more of that tofu. And this is fairly cheap at this point in the game, so I can afford it. I'll buy a little bit of this. Oh wait, this is the tofu. I'll buy some soup too. I think the soup is only good to restore a spiritual energy. And I just wanted the variety, man. Illusion Queen, do you know where the side quest is? Also, I might be, we might be running out of time, so... We have to stop pretty soon. I need to go to the inn. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was supposed to go to the inn. I forgot the instructions. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I was just messing. I just I just failed to see your comment earlier. I looked at only looked at go to Chenzhou after Shouyang side quest, but I didn't read the, the comment above. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go to the inn first. Uh, if, hopefully it's not gonna take too long. If it's gonna take too long, then I might have to stop it for today. Alright, here we are in the inn. Oh.
Oh, the main version of Ride the Sword in Jianghu, the main theme of Sword and Fairy 3. Right. Ooh. Okay, yep, I'm sorry. Hey, Mr. Soul. <laughs> So, er <coughs> so all the wine inside the guild, uh, the guild, excuse me. So all the wine inside the inn has already been, has already been ordered, <coughs> has all been ordered by someone. Are you trying? Uh, let's see. Is she saying like, by saying this, are you just trying to cheat people? Just now I asked your, asked your son. He told me everything. So this Zhou Jinfu, who is the owner of the inn, like... Oh, yep, it's this... It's the son. <laughs> this the child. Let's see. Wow, the child actually... Actually could... Uh, is actually demanding, huh? Anyway, Zhou Jinfu says, Xiao Tong, you li... <laughs> Or he's, it, it literally means like, you you child, or like, you child, Xiao, Xiao Tong, how could you just, how could you just say things so casually? So this Zhou Xiao Tong says, Oh no, she's saying, my bad, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting, con I'm confusing myself. It's also because I can't, the question marks are referring to her, and she's just, the son just told her everything. Your son, so she's saying, your son told me everything. You said all the wine's booked, but it's not. Or it's not, She. It's. I don't know if it's not, but she's like. And then like, the boss is like, hey, Xiao Tong, you shouldn't. Don't just say, <laughs> say things so carelessly. And Xiao Tong says, huh, I wasn't saying anything careless. It's cl cl pa, clearly you're, you're cheating people. Well, the father says, "You." So basically, oh, I see. So that's what's going on. Oh, she a dine and dasher, eh? Yep. She's getting those tabs. Anyway, Zhou Jingfu says like, Ma <laughs> Madam, look, t can you, <laughs> can you just let, can you just not, <laughs> or like, how's a good way to say this in English? He, he basically means like, can you let our store go? Oh, let this in go, or like, can you leave the, <laughs> Leave my inn alone this time. Ten out, of, nine out of ten times you've already. <coughs> you are, uh, you didn't pay your tab, and you also have a. And you also have a uh, have a huge capacity for drinking. A a small business like mine. How could we handle? How could we handle? Uh, Handle this as a small bit as my business is a, is a small business. How could we handle that? Oh, so this woman is demanding wine even though he's even though she keeps not paying her tab. Ooh, that's not good. Huh, you're a big man. What are you acting so? <laughs> What are you blabbing on like a like a old lady for? It's just a little wine. I'm not drinking your wine for free. <laughs> for free, Xiao Tong, which is the name of the the kid, the boy, <laughs> has always wanted this wooden mouse. 
So I'm giving it to him. Come on, hurry up. I want you to get <laughs> get 20 pots of wine. Or I want you to help me bring 20 pots of wine. So she's basically saying like, well, I've got a wooden mouse for him, so give me the mine. My gosh, 20. Goodness gracious. Xiao Tong says, it's a wooden mouse that can move. Pa, I want one. I want that one. Oh, jeez. Ah, go, go, go. <laughs> did you finish? <laughs> did you finish the homework that your teacher gave you this mor? <laughs> this morning. If you haven't finished it, you should just hurry back to the into the rear yard. Or, yeah, that's a rear yard, right? <laughs> you're the... <laughs> How mean, Pa, you're a bad... <laughs> you're a bad man. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Joe, you shouldn't be the... Be that way. You're always making your, making your child study. Be careful that he doesn't grow up to be some, uh, some bookworm. Ah, <sighs> madam, please, uh, please leave me be. To be honest, that <coughs> that wooden mount, uh, no matter how many we get, it's useless. How can we use it? We can't use it to make money. <coughs> you can't use it to make money. Would you, uh, would you please not put me in such a trouble, in such a difficult position? Oh, sorry. Are you not putting me in such a difficult position? There you go. Okay. Oh, fine, fine. You truly, you really are a killjoy. From your, <laughs> from your sour face. You don't even know. <laughs> you don't, uh, you don't understand that I'm doing it for. <laughs> or I guess it's like, you don't understand that I'm doing it for your own, your own good. And then you make it sound like I'm forcing you to. Oh, well, if I can't drink the, the wine here. I'm go I'm going to go to Chenzhou to drink, huh? Oh, okay. We can't tell since this is voice, so use whatever one. I'll just use Su Xing. Wow, jeez. What a t what a cheapskate! Not paying with actual money, but forcing them, paying her his son in wooden mice. I mean, look, it's. Anyway, this Master Joe says, Oh. Oh, heavens. This. <laughs> oh, I see. Those who don't know what's going on would think that I'm forcing you. Oh, Bu Qing is not that Qing. My bad. I I misinterpreted it as like the other. Oh, my gosh. I, I see. Those who would know the situation would think I'm forcing you to do. <laughs> do things. There you go. Ah, sorry about that. I it was Qing Kuang the Qing and not the Putong, not the Qing that you use for like I'm doing so a favor. Sorry about that. I uh, I misinterpreted it as like the word for doing a favor rather than um Qing Kuang. Oh, jeez. I like how a word can mean two different things and so I use the other meaning instead. Whoops. Anyway, she's not doing him a favor she's just saying like you if no if someone didn't know you they would think I'm forcing you to okay that's cool hey mr. Joe says oh heavens what a difficult to do that lady really is 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 so di a lady so difficult to deal with 
Oh, just when will she? When will she leave so young? Zi Ying says, "Like, yeah, huh? Anyway, that person just now, could it? Could it have been? Ah, Su Xing Shi Su or Shi Su Su Xing? I have to mix it into Western order." Could have he's basically could have been Su Xing, like one of his like masters, uh, uh fellow students. <laughs> anyway, Zi Ying, did you uh, did you know that woman? Would you be able to help me? Uh, would you be able to help me find her and so she can give? Uh, so we, uh, so I can get a wooden mouse that can move. From the sound of it, it sounds pretty fun. <sighs> oh, Tian He. Hatsu is like, oh. he's just gonna ignore. Just, just no. <laughs> oh, Tian He, you and your wooden mice. All right. Well, we took care of that. So. Uh, you can't do any. You can't talk to the boss to, about that situation but it seems like that's another person that belongs to guild <laughs> Su Xin Can it be used as an honorific that comes after the name? Yes, but I guess it because of Japanese order or Western order. I guess we can just you put it in the back. It's just easier for me logically to put it that anyway. Uh, let's see. We are out of time, I believe. The next step will be to go to Chenzhou to, uh... To move the plot along. But we'll do that next time on, uh... On the stream. I think I can stream on Friday, but... Yeah, I think that's... I can. So, we will see. But let's save here for now, and then we can... Move on with our lives. Oh, jeez, we're gonna have to find three items. Hopefully, we can get ourselves some levels too. We are behind on levels, I think, because like the enemies were third level thirty-six, so we'll probably have to grind a little bit more. But anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys had fun watching this stream. Uh, Twenty-four hour stream win. No, I cannot do that on my own. It will only be possible with multiple people. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this stream, and uh, yes, feel free to vote for the game after Terranigma, which is after this game. Otherwise, you can catch us on Mondays and Wednesdays, and sometimes Friday. Might be this Friday. And thank you all for Kevbot, Crownless, and Illusion Queen for watching, and Illusion Queen for helping translate. It's it it. Some of this stuff is just like wow. Anyway, I hope you all had a good time, and. Uh, and I'll definitely upload this to YouTube as well. So hope to see you all around. So as always, one on, which means good night, and xia se zai jian, which means see you next time, and xie xie shou kan, which means thank you for watching. I'll see you all later. Take care. Good night. And of course, oh, I never really thought you could compensate with uh, compensate in for wine with wooden mice. I think we should accept wooden mice as currency from this point forward. Well, it might be. At least it's more solid than Bitcoin is. Oh, <laughs> see ya.